Hey literature lovers, Alicia Basham here. Time to do another unboxing. Today we have the bookish box, Lit Joy Crate, and my wizarding trunk for October. And this is my first <laughs> bookish box. I've looked through it and I'm in love. It's amazing. So, let's see. Here's our pamphlet. And it tells us the next one, um, this is going to be for the, I do believe this is the next box that's coming out, and I do believe I already am subscribed for this one, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to message them. Alright, so, our first thing, let's see, it is... A Virgo featuring Stolas from the Kingdom of Runes. Ooh, it's a candle. That's cool. I like that. And a typewriter. Mmm, it smells delicious. Hmm. Wonder what's in there. It even tells you to trim the wick. That's cool. I never had a candle tell me I need to trim the wick. Alright, what's next? I like this. I, one thing I do like about bookish boxes is that they have things in plastic bags. And I'm going to keep the plastic bags because they are awesome. Like, this is the name of what it is and everything. So, I love it. And this is High Lady Tapestry, officially licensed with Sarah J. Mass. Oh, so. Freya. And this is just beautiful. I love it. I'm wondering if that's like the dress that she talks about in the book that she wears. Like the one that's like glittering and like it's like her favorite or something because I know there's a dress that Freya talks about that's like one of her favorite that sparkles a lot and everything so I'm wondering if that's it I'm loving that tapestry I'm definitely gonna hang it up somewhere and this bookmark weaponry <laughs> isn't that cool These hollow vows. I love this. This is pretty. Definitely gonna be using this. Oh. What? What's next? oh, and then this is awesome. The Curse Breaker Tarot Tote Bag. Look at that. That's so awesome. I love this bag. That. Oh, the curse breaker. I love this. The bookish box hit it out of the park. They are amazing. And this is a print album. on it oh. <laughs> oh and it's twilight inspired that's not bad i like twilight too oh i like the gold foiling and everything on the front that's so pretty and then it's got gold foiling on the back on the side that's really pretty. Definitely gonna use that for pictures. And next, but not least, 
we have our book. And I like that they put it in like this type of bag. I love that. I'm going to keep that. Who wild is the witch? And I love that the cover is actually clear. Let's see, now there's a page in here. After a night of magic turns deadly, Iris Gray vows to never let another person learn she's a witch. It doesn't matter that the witch's council found her innocent or that her magic was once viewed as a marvel. That night on the lake changed everything. Now settled in Washington. Ooh, that's where I am. Iris hides who she really is and vents her frustrations by writing curses she never intends to cast. And while she loves working at the wildlife refuge, she runs with her mother. She loathes Pike Alder, the witch-hating aspiring ornithologist who interns with them. When Pike makes a particularly hurtful comment, Iris concocts a cruel curse for him. But just as she's about to dispel it, an owl swoops down and steals the curse before flying far away from the refuge. The owl is a powerful amplifier, and if it dies, Iris's dark spell will be unleashed not only on Pike, but on everyone in the region. What? Forced to work together, Iris and Pike trek through the wilderness in search of the bird that could cost Pike his life. But Pike doesn't know the truth, and as more dangers arise in the woods, Iris must decide how far she's willing to go to keep her secret safe. Hmm. Already, I started reading it, and it is very good. Oh, and here's my other favorite part. Look at that. Look at that. Sprayed edges. I love that. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love this book. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get more bookish box boxes because they are amazing. Don't take my word for it. Get one. You will love it. All right, next is our Lit Joy. This one was back. Um, push back because of um, binding problems with the publisher and everything so they had to push this back this is the spring 2022 box and it is magic awakens so let's get started all right first I see like uh, like holder thing like you could put like something in between this and like display it and stuff and then put it like in this that's pretty nice I like that I don't know what I'm gonna put in that who another wood bookmark open yourself up to your magic accept it welcome it and it'll come to you are you ready oh that's beautiful I love that that's so All right, and then Gideon and Hero Walk. Gideon is one of the only three children in the ninth house to survive the crash flu. Raised as a servant, she has a knack for staying alive and bringing dark humor to any setting. That's pretty. I like that. And, okay. Our turn is... Stories make everything possible. Oh, it's like a little tumbler. That's cool. I really like that. I don't know what that's inspired by right now. But we'll find out. And... What? Let it go. Oh, 
Oh, it's like a little Zen snow garden. Okay. That's pretty cool. Gonna set mine up because that's pretty cool. Little Zen rock garden. <laughs> so this must be inspired by like Frozen. like a little rake to smooth it out. Here, I'll hold this up so everybody can see. Oh, this is so awesome. I'm going to have to keep this up away from my kids though because my youngest would just destroy this and get the sand everywhere. But look at that, that's so cool. I think my husband will like this. He'll, he might like to play with it. And then it's even got like little decorations like Christmas trees and stuff. If I can get the bag open. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm knocking over everything. All right, see, Christmas trees. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, next we have a coin, and it is. Oh, it's a Percy Jackson coin. Look at that. That's cool. I love owls. That's very cool. And last but not least is our book, Twin Crowns by Catherine Doyle and Catherine Weber. And I am loving this. It kind of shows each character. See, I'm destroying it. I'm knocking over my trees and stuff. And... <sighs> but this book is very good. I've already started reading this one too. <laughs> but <laughs> Ren Greenrock has always known that one day she'd steal her sister's place on the throne. Trained from birth to return to the palace and avenge her parents' murder, she'll do anything to become queen and protect the community of witches who raised her or she would if only a certain guard wasn't quite so distractingly attractive and if her reckless magic would stop causing trouble princess rose valhart knows that with power comes responsibility and she won't let a small matter like waking up in the desert with an extremely impertinent and very handsome kidnapper get in the way of her duty but life outside the palace is wilder and more beautiful than she ever imagined and the witches she has long feared might turn out to be the family she never had but as coronation day looms and each sister strives to claim her birthright an old enemy becomes increasingly determined that neither will succeed who will ultimately rise to power and wear the crown yeah it's a good book I am excited to read it. It's very awesome. I love this. 
and the women who wrote it are soon to be sisters-in-law. I think that's very cool. That's very cool. I think that's awesome. And I love the cover. Them holding the crown. Alright. That's the end of that box. Now I'll get our booklet and we can look through that. So it has the crate items listed. Oh, I forgot one thing that was in the lit joy box that I'm actually wearing is my Jude socks. Uh Carden's Obsession Socks. Will they stay enemies or will they succumb and become lovers? This is the timeless question we ask ourselves in Twin Crowns and with Princess Rose and Shen keeping us on our toes. Their feisty relationship reminded us of another literary duo that kept the pages turning. Carden and Jude. Oh, Jude, these officially licensed Holly Black crew socks inspired by the cruel prince will make you feel like you're falling in love for the first time. Page 141 pulled on our heartstrings and we couldn't resist putting Carden's writing on a pair of socks. These socks are one size fit most. Wash in cold water and do not use bleach. Percy Jackson gold drachma coin. Ooh, so it is a Percy Jackson coin. That's cool. With Athena's symbol, the owl is just what any Percy Jackson fan needs. Oh, that's very cool. Feel free to use it for currency, to send an iris message, or for summoning the chariot of well, the Grey Sisters taxi. All godly uses aside, this coin designed by at Maggie Rose Studio will mighty find next to your favorite demigod book. Coin case. What could oh so it's this the coin case. What could be better than a custom coin from your favorite fandom? How about a coin case to display one? This membrane case is perfect to hold your new Percy Jackson drachma coin or any collectible coin you want to show off and keep safe. Now if you could just harness your witch or demigod powers to keep the world safe. Frozen Zen Garden. <laughs> When the storms of life rage on, we all need a chance to let it go. This frozen zen garden was inspired by the tale of two sisters whose love could melt away any frozen heart. The sisters and twin crowns did not grow up together like Elsa and Alma, but they may discover what true love is all about just the same. This zen garden will bring you the peace and serenity of warm hugs each time you take, uh, each time you rake the snow, white sand, and arrange your wintry scene. Kingdom of the Wicked Tumbler. Fill your tumbler and have a drink with us, or two, no judgment. The Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco is about a sister's love and the magic it can awaken. Just like Amelia and Victoria, the sisters in Twin Crowns have to navigate their own world of witches and magic. You can't deny the pull of a good story. And a quote on this eco-friendly stainless steel tumbler is perfect for the reader and all of us. Yes, it is perfect. Magic in the Ordinary Sticker. Where's... Oh, there is a sticker. And <laughs> there can be magic in the ordinary. Forgot this. <laughs> Twin crowns will call my tell whimsy, Sterling and C. Okay. Serpent and Dove bookmark. And our adventure card, which we looked at earlier. That's very awesome. I love that. And it shows the collectible keys. Oh, the Nevernight Chronicles. And the next Lit Joy Crate, which I should be getting soon, I hope. This was the summer one, so I can't wait for that one. All right. 
now I'm gonna step aside and I'm gonna put the snow garden on a shelf for one second. <gasps> thing I see is well, actually the first thing I saw was my Salem sisters t-shirt I did put it on because I just love it and it's got like their venues on the back <laughs> I'm excited I was so excited when I saw that there was a shirt in the box <laughs> and look the ticket for Salem sisters live at the Great Hall I think that's awesome. And, oh, this fell out of the bag. Another key. I'm not really sure where this one goes to. I, maybe the Shrieking Shack? I'm not sure. We'll have to look at the card. Oh, Shopkeeper. Borgen and Burks, London. That's cool. And I'm assuming it's Borgen and Burks because of DB. And it says London. This. Ooh, that looks like the um, fat lady's painting. And Sirius, like, cut it up to try and, like, get to Scabbers, a.k.a. Um, Wormtail. So that's pretty cool. I'm definitely going to keep that because I also have like another painting that's going to look really cool. Alright, and then I did take these out of the thing because I was looking at them earlier. Magic Most Evil book cover. Isn't this beautiful? I love all the art that I get. I need to hang it. This one is definitely one of my favorites. It's literally the sheet music for Something Wicked Comes This Way. Something, yeah, Something Wicked This Way Comes. And it's, oh, it's so beautiful. Look at the gold foiling. And it's got gold foiling in the notes and like the beginning of some of the words have gold foiling and it's so beautiful I love that I'm gonna get a frame for that and hang it up and what blood suckers oh vampire suckers like the ones from the book like when Ron is like in Hogsmeade with Hermione and they're talking about Harry and Ron's like, oh, maybe Harry would like one of these. And Hermione says, no, those are for vampires. They're blood. Yeah, well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> My oldest saw those and he was like, those aren't really blood, are they, Mom? <laughs> so, uh, I think that's so adorable. Hey, what is this? Looks like something. Uh, his staff 
his staff broke off, I do believe. Or maybe I'm supposed to put it in. Yep, I think I'm supposed to put his staff in. That's pretty cool. I did not realize that until I saw it. And then it was like, hey, this looks kind of broken. Oh, that's cool. Okay, it's removable. And put it in there and put it in his hand. And then I can twist it. I was able to like twist it up and have it stay. See? Like that. Or I can have it like that. Yeah. But that's pretty cool. I like that. Okay. Alchemy for the skin. Troll bogies. Aloe vera, vitamin E, vanilla hydrosol, sweet orange essential oil. Ooh, so it's like a moisturizer, but it it looks like glow in the dark, kind of. But look at that. It almost does look like the troll bogies that Ron gets on his wand. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And it smells delicious. Mmm. Okay. I'm gonna have to try it. Wonder what it is exactly. I'm gonna have to look at the paper. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna save the biggest one for last. Because that one I have a feeling everybody's gonna be excited about. Alright, this is a potion. Let's see what potion I have. Uh, that's pretty. A data essence. That's pretty cool. I like that. Alright. Oh, and we have another creature page. Magical creatures A to Z. I'm going to have to put that in my binder with the other one. So we have Troll and Thunderbird. Which I think is very cool. When the Thunderbird flaps its enormous lightning blue feathered wings, it creates thunder with its beak it creates lightning this creature can also shape shift into human form they remove their feathers and wear them like a cloak they tip their beak back over their head like a mask to reveal a human face that allows the thunderbird to walk among humans without drawing any attention to transform into a thunderbird again they pull down their beak and their feathers reassemble into their bodies thunderbirds live in large mountain ranges that float above the earth hidden in the embodiment of all and the elements they give life by nurturing the life forms on earth giving the necessary rain needed to survive. However, they can destroy life with heavy winds that topple entire villages and fire from their lightning. Great horns, serpents are the Thunderbirds' one natural enemy. Thunderbirds rule the upper world while great horned serpents rule the underworld beneath the oceans. Thunderbirds protect humans from the serpents and its followers with lightning and thunder many believe without this magical creature there would be no human life on earth today that's pretty cool i like that and then we have an invitation to <laughs> nearly headless next death day party and it has the menu rotten fish charred cake Maggoty haggis and moldy cheese. That is awesome. I like that. That's really cool. And
Oh, it's a thank you for my um, ticket purchase. That's cool. And then this has like all the info about what we got in the box. And then this is Enchanter resources for werewolves, exclusive enchanted jack-o'-lanterns attack, page six, the dangers of mirror mancy, page eight, poltergeist heist, exclusive bull sightings across UK, page four, that's Horrific Halloween. Join us on All Hallows Eve for an evening of festivities. Bobbing for apples. All of these apples are transfigured turnips except for one. Find the real apple and win a free meal at the Bubbling Cauldron. The Transfiguration Contest. The Witcher Wizard with the most horrifying transfigured face wins a shopping spree at Ballywix and or Windershins. Haunted Hay Rides. Hold on tight. These haystacks have been enchanted with levitation charms live performances by the salem sisters candied apples appled candies candied everything that's really cool how to play games magic squares this week's magic rune did you know brain boggler puzzle <laughs> Ghoul sightings, carve a turnip, save a pumpkin, poltergeist heist, Miss Paisley's pumpkin pa pasties. Ah, I'm going to still write that on one of my recipe cards. That is awesome. Enchanted jack-o'-lanterns attack. Oh, this is so cool. I love this. I... <laughs> Oh, this is really cool. Ghost cakes. Oh, I'm going to definitely write that one down too. And then it's got horoscopes. Oh, that's really cool. I love this book. This is definitely going to be kept. Okay, so to go over what was in the box. One, Magic Most Evil book cover. Yes. Grave Angel. Oh, wait. I didn't do the biggest bundle that was in there. This, I think, when you all see this, now I'm going to just scream with excitement. Wizarding Trunk really, really went above and beyond i love this <laughs> skeleton mask thing it even comes with like a little tie like i'm gonna have to have help tying it and stuff but yeah isn't that cool like maybe i should wear it lower i don't know it feels more comfortable when it's like this So, but I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I love this mask. That's cool. So, Dark Follower School Mask. Last worn by a Dark Follower at the World Cup. Designed by J.P. Missile Crow. The Enchanter, which was the magazine. Slashed Portrait Pin. Yep. Troll bogies, great for sunburns and dry patch skin. A product of alchemy for the skin. Evada Essence Potion, the first in the Vile Incantum's new unforgivable three potions line. Can you think of someone this may have been used on? All Hallows Eve, designed by Wizardry Workshop. Prison key. Oh, wait, where's my? What do I have to key? Oh, this is the prison key. I did not realize that. Oh, I guess I could kind of see it at the bottom, the prison in the water. 
but that doesn't look like a um, Dementor because it's got like a skeleton face. But, um, so, Death Day Party Invitation, Shopkeeper's Pen, we have that. Creature Page, Something Wicked Sheet Music, Bloody Suckers, and Salem Sister Tour Shirt. We got them. And I'm excited. I'm definitely going to be wearing this, like, on Halloween or maybe, like, at work. Um, went on, if I work on a Wednesday and stuff, because we get to wear costumes and stuff at work. But... Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. They did a really good job crafting this. So, I'm excited. I hope you all enjoyed this. I'm just so excited to put this all in its spots and everything. And to finish those books. And I will let you all know how they are. Have a great day, everybody.